I have a ton of different hobbies, and a few years back I decided to try my hand at modding mechanical keyboards. I loved choosing switches, choosing keycaps, lubing up the switches and the stabilizers, the whole nine yards, and now I have a few that I keep on my desk to swap in and out, and I love the different sounds, the different feels of the switches, and aesthetically pleasing on my desk, of course. However, the keyboard that I have on the desk today, the Aula F75, honestly sounds just as good or better than a lot of the keyboards that I spent a ton of time modding and a ton of money building and it does it all for a pretty incredible price. In this video today I'm gonna show you what comes in the box, talk about what I love about this keyboard, give you a sound test of the switches of me using this in real life and then let you know whether or not I think it's worth picking one up for yourself. Let's get into it. What's up everybody, welcome to the Phase Reviews YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, if you're new here, thank you for joining me, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. We're gonna dive into looking at this Aula F75, but before we do that, make sure that you like the video, leave a comment, subscribe, and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss any content coming in the future. Enough about that though, let's take a look at this awesome mechanical keyboard. One of the first videos I ever released on this channel was a review of a mechanical keyboard. It was a Red Dragon keyboard. I knew nothing about them at the time. I just wanted one that sounded cool for my office. I bought one with clicky switches. It turned out to be a horrible keyboard, but I didn't know better at the time. And that video took off uh, in a way that I had no expectation of. Now, years later, I've got multiple other keyboards that I actually took time researching and building. And even though the Red Dragon is long gone, I still have a love for a mechanical keyboard. They're fun to use, they are you know, tactile, they sound great, they can be works of art on your desk. And I highly recommend if you're someone who does a lot of work on your computer, be it a student or a, a home office, a business owner, anything like that, it's worth adding a little bit of luxury to your desk setup. Now, this Aula F75 is pretty awesome because a lot of the things that the keyboard modding community does, like choosing nice switches, lubing those switches, getting you know good stabilizers that have a nice smooth action has already been done to this from the factory which is really nice to see let's talk about what comes in the box this is the box right here we've already done the unboxing because I wanted to do some testing this is wrapped in plastic when it comes it even has a little dust protector here which you could continue using on your desk if you're really uh, uptight about the keeping your keyboard pristine you do have a cable right here that can be used both to charge the keyboard and to run this uh, as a wired connection with your computer. This keyboard, it's worth mentioning, has three connection modes. You've got your wired connection. There is a small uh, 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmitter here in the back if you wanna use do the USB route, and there's also Bluetooth functionality with three different uh, computers that you can connect to all in one keyboard. So pretty much every base covered as far as connection. You also are going to get a couple extra switches. These are, let me look it up because I gotta make sure I say it right, the Leo Bog Reaper switches. I didn't know anything about them. They're linear, I believe. They feel fantastic and they're pre-lubed from the factory. So you get a couple extra of those, you get a keycap puller, and you're going to get your manual, which walks you through all the different features of this keyboard. Now, uh, one other thing to note with this keyboard is that it is RGB. So once we power this up, you're gonna see some lights going back and forth there. Uh, I just like to use a nice solid color. Let's see, I wanna flip off the light so you can see that a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Can you see it? Yeah, there we go. I like to use a nice solid color, uh, but there's, you know, all sorts of different patterns. Let me turn it back on here so you can kind of see, yeah. All sorts of different patterns that you can use depending on what you prefer. Um, I'm not gonna go through all of them today because there's so many. Now, nice hefty weight here. And one of the reasons that it has such a hefty weight is that there are five layers of padding foam inside this keyboard. Why? To make it sound honestly better. It dampens the hollowness of the board. It makes the, the keys a little creamier, uh, as the people like to say in the keyboard community. And it just really enhances the feel of this. Like you pick this up and you're like, oh wow, this is a serious piece of equipment. One other thing that I really like about this is the knob up here for your volume. It has a rotary function, of course. It's pre set to go with your laptop. I plugged this in and this controlled the volume like right away, no programming required. You can also uh, click it as well. So you've got functionality there. All of this layout, all the buttons can be programmed by you if you wanna swap out what they do, okay? 
Now, the switches themselves, like I mentioned, they're a linear design, they're pre from the factory. You'll get a sound demo in just a minute. They are five pin, this accepts five pin switches, north facing LEDs, which uh, the community prefers. If you're new to keyboards, it just makes the glow look a little bit more even, doesn't blind you from the bottom of the keys. Uh, and they are hot swappable, so you just use the key cap puller, or the, the switch puller, pull them right out, pop a new one in, no soldering required. The 75% layout, uh, it's growing on me. I usually am someone who likes a number pad, but this has got arrow keys, which I think is a necessity. Um, and you got your function buttons up top, page up, page down, delete. So for the majority of tasks, unless you're doing a lot of number heavy tasks, this is going to be perfect, okay? Now latency with the 2.4 gigahertz transmitter, which is what I use, uh, is practically non-existent. I can't notice any issues. I don't game, so I can't speak to ultra low latency, but for typing, for doing standard day-to-day uh, -day office and computer school stuff, it works really well. The keycaps look really good. We've got this kind of subtle blue with some accents there. Um, it's just classy, it's clean, it's modern. It would look good on pretty much any desk. Um, the angle is really nice uh, for typing and you do have some flip out feet if you want to, ooh, if I get both sides, with multiple heights if you want to tilt it up even more, okay? Uh, I've just been using it flat and honestly, it's perfect for me, okay? so. Let me give you the sound demo overlay that on top of this so you can hear what these awesome switches and this keyboard with the five layers of padding sound like. So there you go, that's the Aula F75. I am extremely impressed with how much keyboard you get for the money. I unboxed this, started typing, and my wife like immediately turned her head and he's like, oh, oh, that sounds nice, which is not normal for my wife. She normally doesn't give a crap about keyboards, but I started typing on this, ooh, and she was like, oh, that sounds really good. So I had to make mention of that because if a non-keyboard person has their head turned when they hear this, uh, that's a good sign. So if you wanna read more about this, I'll include a link down in the description. You can go check it out there. Bye, if you want to support the channel, I would love you for it. If not, I would appreciate you liking the video, leaving a comment with maybe with your favorite uh, beginner keyboard or budget friendly uh, mechanical keyboard, and then subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos coming out in the future. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.